It should be working now. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, do let me know for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. So as I was saying, um, when you don't open your laptop for two weeks, everything suddenly needs updating. And my streaming thing also needed updating. And apparently, it then changes your microphone settings. <laughs> oh, hi, Natasha. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> oh, I've just been blabbing on. Maybe, maybe I can uh, fix that in the... Um, Maybe I can fix that afterwards, that I just chop the first six minutes off. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, a little <laughs> recap of what I was saying. Hi, welcome. These are the cozy crafting sessions. I've been on a break for uh, a week for Easter. Um, so this might be the first time it's popping up in your YouTube feed. Uh, so I'm going, be, going to be working on this colored blanket. And um, yeah, it's, it's a very long process. I'm knitting the border. I need some extra motivation. That's where you come in. <laughs> no, um, doing the live streams just really is this kind of, um, I don't know, it keeps me focused. It's keep, it keeps me from going on my phone um yeah and i love chatting with you so hi mama hi. um so yeah and if you need some extra motivation as well or if you just want some extra company while you're crafting or working or whatever then uh yeah feel free to join mama has just joined as well hello Um, Natasha said, did you have a nice two weeks though? Yes, I did. Um, so I was in the Netherlands for a week and, uh, we went, we took the ferry from Newcastle to Emmede, which is great. Uh, I, uh, it's, it's so easy. It's so much less stressful than flying for me. Um. Yeah, and we could take our cat with us so we didn't have to worry about getting her a cat hotel here. Uh, so that's just been really great because last time when we went to the Netherlands uh, last December, um, we had a, what's it called actually? Uh, a catery. Um, and she didn't eat for the first two days. Um, and also, it was very cramped and she could, you know. She had her own little room, but uh, it was with a glass door, um, which, you know, is fine because then the cattery owner can keep an eye on things. But it also meant that Momo could see other cats and she doesn't do well with other cats and she just feels threatened. So yeah, that wasn't a good experience for her. So we were really happy to take her with us this time. Um, yeah, on, on the DFDS ferry, you have pet cabins. So you can simply take your pet with you, whether it's a cat or a dog. Um, yes, I just have to <laughs> get back into the pattern. Um, and then she stayed with my parents. So that was really, really great. Um, yeah. So, how have you all been? What are you working on today? Um, it is very sunny today where I am. I hope it's sunny as well where you are. Um, the weather has been really back and forth lately. Very rainy last week. Super sunny. The 
Natasha says, I ordered new yarn for another knit project for my daughter's current teacher. Oh, you are so generous with your knitting projects. Um, what are you making? What are you planning on making? I'm just gonna send the link to my Instagram as well. Let's see. Okay, um, I need to get a picture. Um, oh, you're making the scent of the vine. Oh, it will be a thank you present for the end of the year. My daughter has had her as a teacher for the past two years. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I really want to knit more shawls. They are so fun to knit. Um, and I was organizing my um, craft room again because it was very messy and especially with some stuff that I took back to the Netherlands and then uh, brought here. Uh, so I had to do some major reorganizing, especially because, you know, this room is much smaller than my previous studio. Um, and where is it? This closet. Um, the stuff I originally put in there turned out to, you know, I turned out to not really use that stuff as much. And so I thought that would be best if I just, you know, because this closet is just, it's in my room, it's easy to open, uh, easy to access. So I want stuff in there that I will use a lot. Uh, so now I put my uh, circular needles in there and stuff um, and the stuff that was in there that I'm not using so much such as you know hibernating works in progress or I can't even remember what was in there um, I put those in boxes and put them further away because um, I'll know where to find them when I need them um, yeah, and with, with a small space, you just have to be a bit more creative with how you're using it. Um, so yeah, if you have any tips, let me know. Um, we have, we do have a big um, wall closet and I just have a lot of moving boxes in there on the side, so with, with the open um with the top flap no not with the flap. <laughs> uh, like with the open side it's towards me so it's put on its side uh, so that i can basically use them as shelves but still they're not ideal um, they're a bit slanted things are sliding forwards so uh, yeah i had to um, rearrange some stuff there as well yeah, and while doing that, this is what I actually wanted to say. <laughs> and while doing that, I um, I found some yarns again that was like, oh yeah, I wanted to 
make a make a shawl with this or yeah so yeah and the lace patterns are just so much fun and I want to design more but you know time <laughs> I think if I had all the time in the world, I would just design lace shawls. Okay, so let's actually set up my over the shoulder camera. Let's see if it's working. Hi, Rose, good morning. It's working. It's majorly zoomed out though. <laughs> See how bright the sun is. <laughs> um Right. Okay. There we are. Yeah, we do have some sunshine, but nothing really I can do about that now. I guess I'll have to figure out something when summer is here. <laughs> um, because I've only experienced this room in winter so far so um yeah uh natasha says i'm not particularly good at lace knitting so it will be a challenging pattern yeah but yeah i know you can do it um yeah it's totally doable for you um and i think i designed this pattern as well to start with a bit easier patterns and you know the best tip I can give for lace knitting is to place uh, stitch markers between the repeats um, because that really helps so that if you you know forget a decrease or a yarn over somewhere that hopefully uh, you'll re realize it within that repeat um, Rose says, I haven't been able to follow for a few weeks. What wonderful project are you working on today? Oh, uh, I am working on my color work blanket, uh, today. It's actually, I've been, I've been away for, I've been away last week and then Tuesday this week, I didn't do a live stream because I just had too much stuff. <laughs> my room was so messy. Um, so this is my first time back in a while as well. Um, yeah, what are you working on today? Um, over the... Easter holiday I was working on 
a honeycomb baby blanket and I've I've just mainly been knitting on that uh, for the past weeks but it's a secret project so uh, so I can't knit that on the live streams but otherwise I would it's such a fun pattern um, it's a bit of a modified honeycomb pattern um, I'll show you soon enough um, but yeah the the original honeycomb pattern so it has a lot of cables uh, and I modified it a little bit to be a bit more enjoyable to knit because I think that's very important <laughs> and talking about things needing to be enjoyable to knit yeah I might not recommend this blanket to anyone <laughs> because it takes so long it's definitely the project with the most hours in it and yeah I mean it's gonna be beautiful but <laughs> uh, yeah I think I think I'm gonna place a warning with this uh, <laughs> pattern <laughs> Uh, hi Miranda, good morning! Uh, did you get to meet up with Charlie while you were here? Yes, I did! Uh, it was very last minute. I also just uh, let her know when I was coming. I let her know just the week before because I didn't think of it. And um, uh, we tend to do better with like a bit of spontaneous planning. So, so we got together. We... Uh, went to a very nice brasserie. Not really sure if there's an English word for that. Sort of a cafe. Um, it was next to the water. It was very nice. And they had my favorite uh, Limburg's, Limburg's <laughs> pastry called Fly. Um, which is usually like a fruit pie. Um, but I had Reisfly. So it's rice pudding pie. Oh, it's so good. With like chocolate shavings on top. So good. Um, yeah, I had a lot of uh, traditional Dutch things when I was in the Netherlands last week. I did not have a frikandel though, but I'm not really missing it because there's a lot of deep fried food here as well. Um. <laughs> Rose says, I love messy craft rooms. It means we're creative. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, today I'm working, sorry. But at home I'm working on a plant pooling project. Oh, that's fun. I love your blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, the color of the edging was a bit of a, um, uh, it was a bit of a puzzle because um, this blanket, I made it with this color pack. Um, and it in that color pack, you have every color of that yarn range of Escapius Metropolis, um, this one. Capius Metropolis um, and because this blanket has each and every color of this yarn range it was kind of a challenge to then find a border color um, but but I think this one is very nice um, and I'm glad you think so as well Oh, and do you see my Easter, my Easter egg nails? 
Um, they've been on for almost two weeks now, so they're they're a bit damaged in places, but um, I really like them. They're like pastel, and you have like little dots on them, so it looks like it looks like little eggs. But no, not little eggs. It looks like you know the dots you see on eggshells. Um, and it was the first time in a while that I did my nails like this and it feels good. <laughs> yeah. The first thing usually to go um, when I'm very busy is my nails. So, um, or like I don't want to say manicure, it feels too fancy. Uh, these are just stickers. Oh, you remember the poll. Oh, nice. Oh, this is the color you voted for. <laughs> Nails are gorgeous. Forgive the short sentences. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Dang, all that work. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to find a new web shop for these nail stickers, though, because... I could get them from the Netherlands, but, well, my parents are coming in May, so I might, I might order new stickers and have them bring it for me, but I, I know there are some web shops here in the UK as well with these nail stickers. I think one is called Lily and the Fox or something. Um... So I might check those out as well. I don't know if anyone here has seen those um, <clears throat> advertisements for nail dipping powder, which is where you put some, I guess, some kind of polish or glue on your nails and then you dip them in this powder and then you brush off the excess. Um, don't know if you've seen any ads for that, but my um, two of my sisters-in-law, they, they got some of those nail powders last year and and they and they tried it and I tried it as well and it looks great but when you take them off and afterwards you know if you do it a couple times your nails start getting very very brittle um, which you know I, I just thought was a bit scary I don't want my nails to be damaged by you know the things I put on them, whether it's nail polish or stickers or uh, gel, what's it called? Nail gel? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Ooh, I might, I might get to the corner this live stream. Oops. Because I'm almost there. How did your sister-in-law like the baby blanket? Oh, she really, really loved it. Um, I, I gave it to my sister-in-law and um, her partner, boyfriend, um, during the Easter weekend and they both really loved it. And um, yeah, they said they really liked the colors. Um, uh, the blanket was in white yellow and blue but kind of a kind of this blue actually kind of a sea greeny blue uh not a blue that you know i i don't think that you know blue is only for boys i mean pink is only for girls but you know even even if you were to think that this is not the traditional baby boy blue so i thought it kind of oh and my cardigan is actually kind of the yellow <laughs> that I used. So here you have an impression <laughs> of the baby blanket. Yeah, she really loved it. Um, and I took some pictures of her holding the blanket with her beautiful belly. And yeah, I hope to release the pattern soon. Um, and I did have some yarn left over uh, just like a teeny tiny bit of yarn and I managed to knit a very tiny baby hat um, it was um, I just knit a newborn the size which was it was like uh, it's like slightly bigger than a sock um, I think 72 stitches 72 stitches um, and then after a while you decrease yeah so that felt weird just slightly bigger than a sock and it'll be a hat for this baby um, you know who knows if it will fit maybe maybe the baby will have a <laughs> really big head I don't know <laughs> uh, and then I still had some yarn left over so then I just knit I just knit a square uh, just a little swatch until I had used up all of the yarn um, and I gifted them that as well so that if they want to wash the blanket that they can wash the little swatch first because even though you know my can I say brother-in-law if, if he's a boyfriend of my sister-in-law or does that sound weird? Because I always call him my brother-in-law, but he's kind of brother-in-law-law. <laughs> anyway, he's a knitter 
Uh, I taught him how to knit. Um, he's knitting baby booties right now, which is so cute. Um, we went to a yarn shop together last week. And yeah, it was it was so cute. Um, because when he looked at the blanket, he was like, oh, I could actually make that. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, you totally could. It's just garter stitch. Um, yeah, so now he's knitting some baby booties. Um, let's see, Mihanda says, I'm working from home today. Yay! Uh, I'm working on the second sock of a pair. Yes, almost finished. Good, good. Working toe up. Uh, just a leg to finish, then I can start a new project. But which project to choose? Ooh, can we help you? It's, it's like, it's always the most difficult thing to decide, isn't it? Which project? Um, do you usually start with the yarn? Like, I want to knit this yarn, or I want to crochet or use this yarn, and then, um, and then, okay, what to make with it? Or do you go like, I want to make a bag, a summer top, uh, a sweater, a cardigan, and then pick the yarn. What is your usual, um, what's your, uh, how do you say this, plan? <laughs> um, oh yeah, so let me finish my thought. So, even though he is a knitter, um, he doesn't really know yet, I don't think, how to care for woolen objects and you know i've gifted them the yarn label as well um but you know the yarn label just says hand wash and fair enough uh it is it is part silk so i do think it's probably only hand wash mind you they did ask for wool silk blend themselves um but you know i've um I've got a washing machine that, you know, it goes down to 30 degrees Celsius and then it also has an option to not heat up the water at all so that the machine uses the water as is. And so I, I recommended to them that they might just throw the swatch in the wash and see what happens. Uh, hi, Capella. morning. Hi, Lane. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> just lurking. Yeah, it's fine to just lurk. That is totally fine. Um, I don't want to pressure anyone into chatting, um, even though I like it very much. <laughs> um, Miranda says, I've bought yarn for summer top. Oh, yes. Uh, and I've bought yarn for the Cozy Mama shawl. Yay. Uh, I usually buy yarn with a pattern in mind. Okay, okay. Uh, Gabriella is sitting on the couch trying to crochet a test pattern after my shoulder operation. Oh, how did it go? I hope you're doing well. Um, how was your visit back home? It was great. Um, I had a lovely time. Um, oh, hi, Ivana. Welcome. I had a lovely time. Um, we stayed with my boyfriend's family in an Airbnb. Well, not, not in a B&B, but like a rented house, um, which was really nice. There were 10 or 11 of us. It's always a big group since my boyfriend has four sisters. So yeah, it's always a big group. Uh, it was very nice and then the rest of the week we stayed with my parents and we took our cat um, yeah it's really nice um, it was filled with like lightning visits to I don't actually know if that's a good English word but yeah uh, so very short visits to friends and family but it didn't feel too rushed, so that was great. But yeah, it was a very busy week. So 
so this week I'm taking things slow. Hi, Momo. Momo is on the chair behind me. The operation went good. Okay, now recovery. Oh, very nice. I hope you recover well. Because, like, with the shoulder operation, they can't really... They can't really put any cast on it, right? So you have to be really careful. Oh, I don't think I could do that. I always want to do too much stuff. <laughs> Can you knit? Or, uh, or is that moving your shoulders too much? Or crochet? But yeah, Miranda, the summer top and the cozy mommy shawl both sound very nice. Um, and they are both summery projects. So I would say whichever one you're most excited about right now, um, I go for that one. Um, I really want to do some summer projects, but I'm currently only doing winter projects, which feels very strange. I'm even knitting Christmas baubles, I kid you not, Christmas baubles in April. Um, yes. <laughs> and a bath mat, and a blanket, and another blanket, so... No uh, summer things for me just yet. But you know. I might I might put a summer top in between there somewhere. And I'm I'm also ordering some more yarn uh, for my knitting machine. Um because my mom is coming over next month and she wants to machine knit a cardigan. So I have to order some yarn for her and then, yeah, I'll have to order some more yarn to get to the minimum order quantity. So, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, order some more practice yarn. Um, I think I'll start with the top. Yeah, good idea. Um, because I think the shawl you can wear pretty much any season, but the top, um, the top will be nice to wear in summer. Caballero says, I'm in a sling. Oh, I have to keep my arm at 90, 90, uh, oh, the, the arm joints at 90 degrees. With a little twisting, I can now crochet. I haven't tried knitting yet, but I think it will work. Yeah. Because, yeah, I suppose it'll both work. Uh, for crochet, I tend to use my arms a little bit more. Like with knitting, I keep my arms a bit more still than with crochet. I uh, I always think about when I broke my arm twice and it was before I learned how to knit. So I always think about <laughs> how I feel very lucky that I didn't knit or crochet back then because I was I was in a cast for a long time and then it healed and then I broke it again so <laughs> it was just as a disaster
Momo is slowly pushing me out of my chair. Momo. Momo. <laughs> oh, I'm almost at the corner. Oh, I can do it. Momo. Oops, <laughs> hit, I hit the microphone. I remember there was some, there was something I wanted to show you. <laughs> um, but what was it? Oh, oh, I remember. <laughs> it's right next to my desk. So I got a new book. Um, it was still delivered to my Dutch address. So I picked it up last week. And let's make sure my blanket doesn't slide off the table. Um, it's called 100 Knitted Tiles, and I have some patterns in here, and so when, when Sarah, uh, the editor, um, emailed me about this book, she asked, Carmen, do you want to um, design some knit squares, and they need to be 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters, something like that. five inches let's see um, finished size yes yeah, some somewhere between five and six inches which is like around um, 15 centimeters 14, 15 centimeters. And I thought, well, perfect, because all of these squares uh, are all that size. Um, and I had designed eight of them for this blanket. And I had some other ideas, 
So then I submitted those those to the bleh, I submitted those to this book. And you can see my name is right on the cover here. Uh, discover patterns and charts for 100 knitted tile designs from 20 exciting international knitting designers, including Carmen Jorsen, Sylvia Watts Cherry, and Ashley Wimp. <laughs> um, and this one is one of mine as well, which is the very first pattern in here. And I just noticed that patterns is shown on the page so um let's see <laughs> there <laughs> that's gonna be my um my cover-up so i've designed this one it's called geometric flowers i can't remember if that was the name that i gave it um but you know, I just I just gave it names so that I could tell them apart, um, and the entire book uses Scapy's Metropolis, um, and this book is meant so that you have 100 tile patterns and you can basically just mix and match them all, even though they'll have slightly different sizes. Uh, see, this one is six inches. Um, but mine is just, you know, it's just a bit smaller, um, five inches and three quarters. So it's just about half a centimeter, um, smaller, but you know, you can, you can kind of get away with that. Um, I'm trying to think how to show this because I don't want to show the patterns um but yeah oh this is so beautiful um there are so many different ones in here um also just textured patterns oh there's a round one that's fun um coffee bean and many of the designers are new to me so um, this designer is called Lisa Mc, McFetridge, McFetridge. Um, and all of the designers are in the back with their Instagram handles so let's see Lisa McFetridge is Idle Hands Knits. Uh, we have Krupa Knits, Yarn Addict Annie, Anaplexus Knits, Helen Elizabeth B, Made with Love and Fibers, Ashley the Happy Hooker, Cat Kid Bob Crochet, I love that name, Cat Kid Bob, uh, Knit Hacker, Annie Domino, there's me, New Leaf Designs, uh, Lily Knits in Cumbria, uh, Anna Nikki Pru, Nikki Prurovich, uh, Rose Trotus, Rose Trotus, no. uh, Susie Rye Knits, The Wool Nest, oh I know, Lynn, Arilla Seeden Designs, with cherries on top too, she's, she's very popular, uh, Ashley Wimp, and then Carrie Westerman just has her website, Carrie Bookish. Um, yeah, and the patterns are just really, really pretty, um, <laughs> I'm trying to obscure them as much as I can, but just to give you an idea, uh, let's find some of my others. Oh, this is one. This is one of mine. This is my favorite. Um, This one looks like mine, but it isn't. It's uh, it's from Lynn. But so these squares, this is one of mine. You can all use them to put in this blanket as well, which I think would be really really fun. Um, I also designed some that kind of 
are a little bit different. Um, this is one of them. So my designs that I use for this blanket are quite they're quite small pattern repeats and then this one is quite a large pattern um, and it has some more edge stitches as well um, so it's a little bit different but um, I still like it very much I love this one as well it's like a, a bit Mondrian yeah art deco one is really cool as well this one is one of mine as well it's very simple but um, yeah it can be a great addition to your blanket yeah I think I'm missing one oh there it is this one is mine as well. Does Amazon have it? Probably. Uh, it's called 100 Knitted Tiles. Mm -mm -mm. It might it might only be on pre-order. Yes, it is on Amazon. Oh, it's out. Okay. Um, and it's for like 15 or $16. I'm seeing it for 13 pounds. So. Hmm. I mean, I'm seeing it on Amazon UK, but it, it's it's probably available in the US as well. Um, they'd be a bit mad to publish an English book and not have it available in the US. So, <laughs> hi Chris, that book is marvelous. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Oh, you already said found it. Oh, I am just reading that now, Elaine. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. And what's really fun is that they have some patterns with the uh, yeah, they have the the instructions uh, or the techniques. But you have some. Oh, maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. You have some actual projects with. The, um, the square patterns so I think that is really nice um, here there's a little needle book which is really cute and I absolutely love this one um, it's a blanket and it uses some very striking square patterns but mostly just one color squares and that really makes the others pop and yeah that really made me think of oh I could I could have done that with this one as well to, to make the the color work ones stand out more but yeah it's really really beautiful um, this one uses just one of the square patterns I think I think this is all the same one but because you have it in different directions um, it uh, it just looks so so cool and yeah and I, I just love it and she has other patterns in here with this technique as well meaning uh, it's some kind of let me find it here let me show it up close it's this kind of mosaic knitting. Can you see that? Um, yeah, mos mosaic knitting. Um, so, so she has several in here with the same technique. So you could even take those and mix and match it 
this is just shown with one of her square designs and I think I think she's so clever um, uh, this is a very cute summer bag very very cute and here you have some more of the squares as well yeah it's just a great great book um, 100 tile patterns um, yeah it's I really like this um, there's a lot of color work in here but there's also a lot of lace a lot of texture so uh, you don't need to know how to knit color work uh, if you want to try this book so yeah highly recommend I'll, uh, I'll write up a uh, blog post about it um, so you know so you can have a little bit more detail um, oh it's $22 oh, okay yeah it kind of makes sense because uh, I figured it would be cheaper here in the UK because it doesn't need the overseas shipping $22 is still a steal for this um, I literally just bought two of the knitting books a few minutes ago <laughs> oh which ones oh I'm curious now yeah so I'm glad I remembered that there was something I wanted to show I could probably put the blinds up now <laughs> just heaping this blanket on the floor oh no no <laughs> she's just lying on her back all four paws up oh no no if I get up I lose my chair to lose my chair <laughs> um, I got the sock project and fast and fabulous knits oh that sounds fun let me just google those the sock project oh is that from summer lee she's so great <laughs> yeah it's like maddening <laughs> how great <laughs> her her sock patterns look um, fast and fat no not fabulous knits I didn't know her, Jamie. Okay. Looks really nice though. Love the pastel colors. <laughs> okay, let's get to that corner. <laughs>
Oh, she's a YouTuber as well. Jamie, what is it, Dorfman? I left the tab open so I can have a look. Ooh, I have a little bit of news regarding my own book because my publisher was at the at, at a book fair in London. I can't remember what it's called. Maybe just the London book fair. I don't know. <laughs> and she spoke to some UK publishers and they seemed very interested in the book. So, so I hope to have more news about a translation soon. that would be amazing. I realize I'm getting into my focus mode, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just not as chatty. <laughs>
Ooh, just a couple more stitches. Um, okay, one more stitch left until the corner, and then I need to just quickly peek at the pattern again. <laughs> I always uh, number my pattern PDFs and I was making a new one for the um, diagonal baby blanket and it was number 65 and that kind of uh, was like whoa I have 65 patterns um, I just need to take a quick peek at the pattern Okay, until the corner stitch, keep making for five more rows. Hmm. Okay, I did a wrong side. Find off any pattern. And then pick up. Pick 
pick up three stitches. I think my neighbors have their grandkids over, so if you can hear something, that's that's what it is.
Oh, bye, Lane. See you next time. Thank you for joining. Uh, is this a second or a third border card? Um, it's the second side. So I've done. I've done the bottom edge of the blanket. Here's where I started. So yeah, <laughs> I'm only at the first corner. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think it'll go faster after this because we'll have some practice. Those might be famous last words. But let's see, do I have more squares widthwise or lengthwise? I still have this picture up here. Um, I have eight squares in height and 10 squares from side to side. So this side should be quicker because it has two squares less. It's only 80% of of the first side, so let's hope so. <laughs> I really love how it looks, though. <laughs> it's just really pretty. Um,
Oh, this is going quite well now. I've already finished two squares on this side. And I started here today, I think. Bye, Ivona. See you next time. Thank you for being here. I keep forgetting that it's Thursday. I'm still in my holiday mode. So it's almost the weekend already. <laughs>
I'm almost done with the third square. I'll stream for a couple more minutes. Because um, I started a bit late today. And then we have no sound. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I can add it the first few minutes out because otherwise otherwise no one will watch the replay <laughs> if the first six minutes have no sound.
Um, so I hope to be back next Tuesday. And then I hope to be just back to my regular schedule of Tuesday at 12. Uh, from 12 to 2, which is Dutch time, 1 to 3. And on Thursday from 10 to 12, which is Dutch time, 11 to 1. I do have to drop off my partner at work on Tuesday, so it might... Yeah, I'm... But I, I think that will be in the morning, though. I don't think it'll interfere with the streaming time. And I've made quite a bit of progress today, even though I wasn't working on the blanket the whole time. So, who knows? We might get the second corner on Tuesday. Because I have just too much going on with other projects. Um, so I wouldn't be working on the blanket in between. And then hopefully I can get the baby blanket pattern up somewhere, somewhere next week. Um, it'll be a Patreon exclusive pattern, um, but I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely post about it on my other socials as well. Hi, Rima. Long time no see indeed. How are you? What are you working on? Momo is still snoozing on the chair, just behind me, <laughs> on the chair, pushing me out of the chair with all her paws. Rima says, I'm not working on anything right now. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe not right now at this minute, but um, you're picking two, skipping one. 
Um, for the side of the blanket, um, I'm picking one, skipping one. Um, yeah, it's difficult to see, but I'm skipping just one row in between. That works well for the, the side. And then for the bottom edge, I picked up two and then skipped one, or picked up three and then skipped one. They both work fine. Um, and sometimes I just don't keep track of it that much, so I did, you know, pick up two, skip one, then pick up three, skip one, or... Yeah. But with the side, it's much easier to get into a rhythm. Did quite a lot today. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'll be calling it a day uh, for this stream. Um, since it's lunch time. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch before I forget because Sometimes I only have lunch at 2 p.m. <laughs> um, so yeah, make quite some progress. I'll be back on Tuesday with another live stream. And then I hope to have maybe to, to maybe reach the second corner on this. So let me show. Kind of curling over. Yeah, it looks quite nice. Obviously, I'll have to block it, but um, yeah, looks quite nice so far. Um, so thank you all so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and a lovely weekend ahead of you. Uh, and I hope to see you next week, whether that's on Tuesday or on a Thursday or maybe another week. Um, I'll be here. I'll let you know. Um, I'll be posting on Instagram and in the Facebook group. The Facebook group is called New Leaf Designs Knitting and Crochet Crew. Uh, I'll also be sending out a newsletter, probably. I think I haven't sent out one in a month or more. So I really should be getting back on that. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. And hopefully see you next time. Yeah. Have lots of crafty time. <laughs> um, and we'll catch up next time. All right. Bye-bye.